Good morning, Marcus Conti. Reporting out on the street. Gotta enjoy the cold while it's still here, right? As winter releases its grip and gives way to spring. So I uh, just want to do a little working theory. So I was watching, uh, I was watching uh, No More News with uh, Adam Green. He had the Great American, uh, the last Great American Vagabond and um, Nathan Stoltman from Lift the Veil on there. And they were talking about the Christchurch shooting as a possibility of being a false flag. A big FF, NYPD on the scene. Right? Um, now, is it? Is it a PSYOP? Is it a false flag? Is it a, is it real versus fake? Right? Is it, this is working theory, all right? Yesterday I made a video, and in my mind I concluded watching, having watched the video, I hope everybody has been able to acquire a copy of that video the full 16 and a half minutes of the shooting at Christchurch. We're still banned from, you know, from posting it. I I hope it'll change, but for now, try to find it. Try to find the guy's manifesto. I don't put much weight into the manifesto. I think just words are words, but the video evidence is evidence of something, right? So yesterday I concluded upon watching that video evidence that a crime had occurred, that that this was real, that this was not a Hollywood, you know, stage, right? It wasn't it wasn't like actors piling on each other with with you know with little paintballs and and uh, you know pseudo explosives that were synced to to you know, it wasn't a Hollywood script. It was real. What we were watching was a real psychopath or trained assassin go in and kill a bunch of people, right? 50 people died, right? He did it in one location and zoomed on to the other location. We never got to see that video, or at least I haven't, if it even exists. So what I want to talk about, is it real versus fake? Is it a psyop? People like that word, psyop, versus lone wolf. The guy that just acted alone, right? So what is real? What is real? Real is, it really happened. That's all. That's all real means. Real means that it really happened. 50 people were shot the way we saw it in that video. That 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 really, really happened. Now, the the alternative to that is, it didn't happen. Remember in, in, say, for example, speculative, of course, at the borderline, you know, borderline shooting in, um, in California or the Caesar Sayoc, the, the, uh, the Patsy bomber, that there was no evidence that it actually, the scene, the thing actually that they say happened, actually happened. There's no evidence, right? Or Las Vegas, for example. There's no evidence or Seth Rich. Those are all those are all psyops, false flags with no evidence that the event actually happened. So it's fake. It's a fake. It's 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 a real it has real effect, but the event itself is fake. Now, real versus fake in terms of this um, Christchurch shooting, I conclude that it's real. I mean, I did yesterday and I concluded that it was real. What I also concluded was that it was a lone wolf yesterday. So I'm of the camp so far still, and I'll tell you why in a minute, that it is a real event and it is a PSYOP by definition, right? PSYOP by definition is is that almost all terrorist attacks are PSYOP, right? They're, they're psychological operations designed to scare the shit out of you. Now, if it, is it a false flag, right? That's the, that's the ramification here. That's the thing we, you, you need evidence, right? 
you need evidence. There's no real evidence. There's mounting circumstantial evidence, but there's no direct evidence of a false flag. Right? So there's also not a lot of, there's no real evidence that it was fake, right? Based on the, the video that leaked out that we saw, right? But a false flag, the ramification of a false flag is that it's government sanctioned. Government sanctioned in some way. Whether it's the, the evil Jew cabal <laughs> and the Rothschilds and Soros. Whether it's the money or a government sanction is, is yet to be seen, right? Is it a false flag? Is, that's, there's no evidence at this time to suggest that it is, right? So, but there is, there is, look, the theory, the guy's, the guy's psychology, right, is, is that of a crazy guy obsessed with, 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 uh, whiteness, his whiteness, his, his, his preservation of his whiteness, right? That's who he is. Now, can you make that up? Can you make someone go in and shoot innocent people based on someone's ideology like that? I, I, in, this, in this day and age, I guess you can, you know? I, I'm getting a little fuzzy right now, but just bear with me because this is a discussion. I, again, I'm not a perfect human being. I don't have all the answers. Yesterday, I was, I was firmly in the camp of Real event and PSYOP, yes, because it's a psychological motive, a psychological uh, sidebar to scare you. So it is a PSYOP, but is it a false flag? Is it a government-sanctioned event? As of now, there's no evidence to suggest that. So, so that's where we have to dive in. That's where the deep dive now happens, right? If you're willing to do it, I mean, I, I didn't, I didn't, <laughs> I really didn't want to get into this, but it's now becoming, it's becoming interesting and uh, also necessary, right? So, Brenton Harrison Tarrant, that's his name, is he a lone gunman? We have to find out, right? Is he a CIA? Because also, if he is in a the CIA, everybody's saying, oh, CIA, he's a CIA asset. Well. The CIA is an American operation, and if you haven't noticed, the event is in New Zealand. So you also have the prime minister of the country denouncing the event as something that actually happened and that is real. Now, is she also being, is she being played by our CIA for political purposes to, to you know, overthrow a, an election or to exalt power of the cabal, the corporate cabal that wants to own everything and everybody? Yeah, it's possible. But how do they get that asset out of there? What's their plan to get a guy who shot 50 people in plain view with video evidence? How are they going to get him out the can? See, that's where you have to follow it. How is it? Are they powerful enough to get that guy out? Is he an asset? Was he planned, was he put there to do that? I don't know. So if you want to believe that he's a CIA asset of some sort, now you're moving into the area of the government is murdering people, right? Whoever did it, right, if it's a concerted effort, a sanctioned effort, then we must say that our government is, is killing people, right? They murdered, they murdered these people because they sanctioned a hit. I like the mob, you know. Right? And then those ramifications are much greater than just one lone wolf acting on his own, right? So, to find out if that's true, A, we have to follow his case. Now, he made an appearance yesterday in court, and they blurred out his face. Why? Why was his face blurred? I saw it on RT. He came out on court and they blurred his face. 
What kind of shit is that? What kind of shit is that? You have cameras in the courtroom and then you blur out his, blur it out his face? I don't know. I mean, that's suspicious. I, I, I've never seen anything like that. That's a first. Right? So you've got to find out. This guy traveled the world, right? You've got to find out the person, right? The individual, right? That's where the deep dive is. His name is Brenton Harrison Tarrant. To the best we know, he's 28. Scottish roots, English roots, whatever. Australian national. Was traveling the world. He went to Turkey. He traveled around. Who knows? I mean, it's just speculation. But you have to see the evidence. You've got to see the passport, the stamps, some sort of solid evidence that... He did, in fact, travel to these places. Was he trained in some sort of military um, operation? Does he have any military training whatsoever in any country or any foreign or domestic activity? I mean, you got to find it out, right? You can't just say it. I mean, it is, it is suspicious. And the suspicion rises that I think uh, Nathan Stoltman made the point that it looked too. It looked too polished. The hit, right? The, the 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 shooting itself appears to be something that an ordinary person couldn't pull off. That he had killed before. He was a trained assassin. Now I don't know if I agree with that because, and, I, and I'm sure the gun lovers, the gun people in the audience that have guns and shoot guns would say differently that training oneself to shoot is not that difficult. It's kind of like a sporting event. But the callousness of killing is something else. Now, I don't know. I know a lot of ruthless people. I know people that, you know, have no problem whatsoever. You know, would have no problem. Let me correct that. Would have no problem whatsoever you know, blurting people out like that, just shooting them, right? Without any remorse, with a, with a sense of, I'm doing good, look, I'm preserving my race, right? Or something like that, right? So I'm not really, I'm not really sure that because he did it so swiftly and eff- effectively, that, that, that that's evidence that he was some sort of CIA asset. I'm not, I don't believe that. Right now, I don't believe that. Because it just it doesn't make sense, right? But does he have military training? Does he have a criminal background? What was his education? Credit information? His childhood raising up, right? All of those things, who the, who the man is, try to track any criminal activity so that if he was an asset, was he compromised at some point? And led to, you know, made a deal. Okay, go in, shoot these people up, right? Do this operation for us. We know you're good at it. We know you can pull it off. Go do it. And if you survive, if someone doesn't shoot back and kill you, and the police get you into custody, we'll arrange your release, right? Which is looking like the what actually happened with Caesar Sayak, that some sort of, some sort of, uh, excuse me, some sort of arrangement was made to get him out because he seemed to have disappeared, right? So we we could watch that to see if he disappears. If he disappears out of custody, why'd they blur it out his face? I don't know. I don't know. Guy appears in court and you blur it out his face. Where's the the, uh, the court sketch? Is it the same guy in the car? You remember in the car, the photograph, if you watched the video, he spun the camera around on his face and you saw his face. Is it the same guy? Did anybody in New Zealand go to court and see him? I saw Caesar Sayak. I saw his face in that court in New York. I saw him walk out the door with my own eyes and saw him and heard his voice. Has anybody seen this guy's face or heard his voice? Those are things that you need to look at, right? So what's the motive? Always what is the motive, right? A lone wolf, we know his motive. We saw his manifesto. Believable. And uh, a contemporary extremist view. 
right? That, that, that whites, their birth rate is going down and we have to save the white race, right? That's the lone wolf, that we have to preserve ourselves, right? And he's going to do this for the preservation of his race. Is one motivation. Now, the other motivation, the bigger motivation, if it's a psyop, is political motivation. Is there political motivation to paint a 28-year-old white man as a racist who hates Muslims and everybody else? Who believes in anti-immigration? Uh, stay where you are. Stay in your own goddamn country. <laughs> yeah. As we move into 2020, that's the essence of Trump's, you know, the, Trump's stance is a kind of a separatist view of the world. It really is, for lack of a better phrase. So is there political motivation to preserve an election cycle and maintain Trump so that the oligarchy continue to make billions and billions of dollars? Because... The, 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 the motivation for business is never social ramification or race or color or creed. or It's money. Right? The oligarchs don't care about the rest of that shit. If you think they do, if you think that, you know, George Soros cares about the Jews in, in, in fucking Germany, you're out of your mind, you know? They don't... These guys don't care about anything but, but making money. All right, so... Is there a is there a financial motive? Yes, yes. Now follow the money. People say, "Oh, George Soros. He was in New Zealand two days before." Eh, prove it. Where is the record? Where's the photographs? Where's the record? Right? It's you can't just jump. You can't take leaps into the. You know, you could have working theory, but don't say. George Soros was in New Zealand, therefore the cabal did it, right? Because that's stupid. That's, that's, it, makes, it makes the argument weak, right? A strong argument is, unless you have direct evidence, unless you have direct evidence being that George Soros sat down with this guy or there's some sort of think tank that, he's in, that the killer is involved in and so are, so are these cabal characters, right? Direct evidence, right? We have direct evidence of the man shooting up the place. That's direct evidence, right? That he did it. Is there direct evidence that he wrote the manifesto? Well, not really, unless he confesses to it. We don't know he, he wrote any of that stuff, right? Did he have it on him when they, when, they, when they got him? I don't know. But there's no direct evidence. What we need, if there's no direct evidence that the cabal is involved, that, the full, that governments are involved in staging or coercing, it's not staged, coercing an individual to go in and shoot up a mosque and then drive his car and go shoot up another one. If there's no direct evidence of that, then the circumstantial evidence, right? That's, that's evidence too, but you need a, lot, a couple of pieces of it. Right? And you could start to find that out by diving into the guy's background. Who is he? Where did he live? Where did he travel? Who did he meet? Who did he talk to? What kind of stamps on his passport? His credit rating? His education? Right? It's, a lot of, it's a lot of stuff, you know? Use this thread down below if you want to use it as a uh, springboard to communicate, drop links and stuff. I'm interested in it. I mean, I don't know. I don't see, even if you do, if you, okay, look, go one step further. If you find out that it is a PSYOP, what, what did you learn? Really, that it's just another government cover-up, right? How many have we seen already? Almost, you know, how, you know, how many have we seen? A lot of them, right? And this just becomes another one. But the fact is, it's still, it's still the, the motivation doesn't really change. The, the driving force behind the, the, the reason why he did it still doesn't change. Political 
lone wolf, religious, you know, racist cleansing or whatever. All those things are still the same, even if it's a false flag. Political manipulation of an election, right? Policy manipulation because, you know, the cabal needs things to be a certain way. New world order, you know, hold the EU and squeeze them. Fuck the yellow vests, right? Venezuela's got oil, take it. You know, all those kind of the, all those kind of decisions are money decisions. Right? You know, why is why is why aren't we sanctioning France? Right? There's a humanitarian crisis in France. No, because it's it suits the oligarchy's argument. Right? But we sanction Venezuela because we don't have a we don't have a foot in the door on the oil, right? They 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 make their own they make their own rules, right? And so we smear them, right? Those kind of things. So, I don't know. Before I go, <laughs> uh, become a Patreon, right? I'm looking for 300 strong, right? 300 Spartans, join, right? So we can keep moving the ball forward. Again, I'm not. Uh, again, I'm not a perfect. <laughs> I'm not a perfect species. I'm one mind. I'm one guy, just like you. I'm. I'm in the mix. Right, and uh, you know, I'm not going anywhere either. Marcus Conti reporting.